Some of you may remember me covering Arkansas's train mod that he was working on many moons ago. Well, Arkansas since has actually joined Bohemia itself as a programmer working on their games, and has finally, for the 10-year anniversary of DayZ, released a beta for his train mod, the Hype Train. And this has been a long time coming. I've been super hyped and following his progress along the way. And he's just DM'd me and said, it's out. You can try it. Just take a look at this beauty. Oh, my God. There's our interior to the engine there that we can get inside. We can open the doors here on the side and close. We've got some items here that we can probably load inside and take for a little journey with us. Oh, I still remember, just like yesterday, talking to Arkansas, saying this is something that we talked about a very long time ago, and I spoke to Dean about, if you've seen my old 2014 interview, and he said it would never really be possible. But I got talking with Arkansas, and he said, we'll see about that. And anyway, years later, here it is. Now, of course, it's still very much work in progress. There's a lot of work to do, and it's took him many, many years to actually achieve this so far. I've loaded the train up now anyway, so let's close that up. I'm not sure if we actually need to fuel it or anything. It looks like it's got body parts and everything. Let's see if it'll start. We've got a whistle and things as well. Let's see if that works. Oh my God, the whistle actually works. What the heck? Right, let's get inside. This is going to be so cool. So if we stand here, we can press and hold F and we can actually get inside the train. Uh, let me bring up the HUD just so we can see what we can do here. Hold to start the engine. It's got all unique sounds as well. As you can tell. So let's see if we can go. Oh, here we go. This is amazing. Look at this. This is the most impressive thing I've seen in Daisy. Oh my God. Now this does work on multiplayer servers, but it's recommended to go on a low pop server. 20 players is probably what's recommended maximum, uh, but you can get 20 players on here on this train and go around the map. Well, I'll listen to that. I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Let's get to the next train station. You know what? I'm curious. It's probably going to be a mistake, but let's... um. Let's see if... Oh, my God. It didn't kick me out onto the floor. Woo. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, we're going past the dam here. Now, one thing that I always loved with Daisy Mod was that there was the one Huey helicopter on the map, and everybody fought over that one chopper. And whoever had that chopper had dominance over the map. And that's kind of what's always been missing from Standalone, was that there was never really that aspect of the game that made it in stable. Uh, you, I mean, there's cars, but we all know how that, that worked out, which is, you know, sad, but it's true. Uh, but the train is another way that it could potentially add that everybody fighting for it, but whoever holds it kind of holds down the whole map you'd have this fortress on a track that everybody would be fighting for, so you'd constantly be in chase if you were risking the stopping this thing. 
um, and losing it potentially but if it did take a lot of bullets obviously it would break down and you'd have to fix it again in itself would be a massive risk trying to find all the parts to get it repaired but this is insane just seeing this in this current stage I, just, I, I thought I've got to make a video on this it's something I've been waiting for for Arkansas to get, get kind of playable for a very long time. It's probably been seven, eight years uh, since I started talking to Arkansas about this. And just seeing this is... I, I don't know what to say. I'm so happy right now. Woohoo! <gasps> There's a horn! But I'm only trying this on a single player. It's fairly easy to set up. Just follow the instructions on the Steam page, which I will leave a link to in the description below. But essentially, you enable the Hype Train mod in the Daisy Launcher, Official Launcher, and then into your parameters, Advance, and then select one of the missions inside the Hype Train mod folder, either HypeTrain.ChernerS Plus or HypeTrain.Livonia, and press Play. And it should load you in right next to the train like I was at the start of this video, and you can play around yourselves in single player. Just imagine we're running through the trees or looting a small town and you hear that horn going off. <laughs> oh my god, it's made me all giggly. Oh, look at that view. Never before seen. Look at that. I think for many of us, this is something we'd, we'd never have thought we'd see in Daisy. It's just amazing that this is even possible. And on the 10 year anniversary of all times for Arkansas to release this, what a time. I know it might sound silly, but for somebody that's been around Daisy as long as you possibly can be, to finally see something like this after 10 years of talking about it, it it's just something else. It, I can't, words can't describe how I'm feeling right now. Well, it looks like I'm stranded here. The jerry can, I think, is full of fuel. I'm not sure if you need diesel for that, and I'm not sure where you find that. The sun's going down. I'm starving to death, but at least I got my whistle. <whistles> the horn works as well without it running. Nice. So I'll leave links in the description below for Arkansas's Hope Train mod. Do go check it out. Highly recommended for uh, an experience I thought we'd never see. Would you just look at it? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time. <laughs>